talked about how negative thoughts affect our emotions and how a coping thought also affects emotions and even changes the intensity of emotion. So uh, create pairs of negative thought with the matching coping thought. There has to be a relevant coping thought for each negative thought. And then we can play the memory game. The winner of the memory game, of course, is the one with the most pairs. And what did you choose? I chose I want to succeed and I must succeed. And why did you choose that coping thought? I chose that because when I think that I must succeed, I get all nervous and anxious. And when I think that I want to succeed, I'm less stressed. Yeah, that's a match. Okay. I chose everybody's against me and sometimes I jump to false conclusions. Why did you choose that coping thought? I chose that coping thought because this can remind us that sometimes we jump to false conclusions when we think of that thought. Okay, very good. It's a pair. Nobody sees me and I don't have to do everything perfectly. I don't think that's um, right. I think that the coping thought to nobody sees me is that some people love me and some people don't. Okay, that's great. Do you want to create your own coping thought card? Okay. So now we have eight pairs of cards. We can play the memory game. So let's start the game. Create pairs. The winner is the one with the most pairs. I think I'm going to win. I have four pairs. I have two pairs. And I have two pairs too, so you win. I win again, I'm queen of emotions. <laughs>